I've matched with people and then guys have gone straight in and been like, you should lose some weight. Like sh- straight in, first message. Oh my God. And you're just like, why would you match with me? Like you took time out of your whole day to tell me this. You don't, oh, cool. Thanks, bro. Like, <laughs> so it's not even a genuine match. It's just someone who is some prick online who thinks it's yeah. funny to tell you to lose weight. Yeah. What are, do you have any other examples? There was a time when I was running every week and I was hitting the gym quite hard. And then they would be like, oh, we could hit the gym together. Like, I don't need you to make hitting the gym my goal. Do you guys? Damn, that's just got to be really, really, really hard to cope with. I've had many times on dating apps where a girl or I hit up a girl and we matched, which was, which is the only reason I can even text you to begin with. And I go, hey, uh, what's going on? Or some basic generic uh, response or message to, to, to send to a girl. Because I'm not into the cringy stuff where you got to be like super unique and all this other stuff. I know what I bring to the table. If you don't want to be with me, it's fine, right? I used to do the really cringy stuff. So I used to be like, hey, my name is Tarzan or some shit. Or I'd be like, hey, um, tell me about your favorite flavor of fruit roll-up or something or something random like that or like tell me your favorite flavor of deodorant something random that would be really weird um but i did get some responses so maybe i would go back to that if i was in that same situation but anyway um i would get responses back from these girls they would they would go you look like you smell or the fact that you thought you could hit me up me like is actually insane to me because you were actually so incredibly musty looking that the, the thought of me and you together is actually making me puke right now and i'm just sitting there going but you liked me too. But we're like the, the only way I was actually able to hit you up was because you liked me as well. So were you just like swiping right on everybody? Or most of the time, girls don't do that. Most of the time, girls are pretty pretty methodic about uh, wh- wh- who they like. So they're usually going left, 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 and periodically going right. So I thought maybe I had a chance, but no, nope, I was just ugly and diabolical looking and terrible, disgusting, and I also look like apparently a deep fried French fry. Who would have known? But. Definitely, that happens quite a bit. Um, it's not unique to women. I don't know exactly on the side of being fat. I've never been fat in my entire life, so I can't really vouch for the idea of being fat as a reason why somebody would dismiss you, but it's obvious it would since most people are not attracted to fat people. And by the way, when guys, when they're on dating apps, I don't think, I don't know if anybody knows this, but maybe if you don't know this, this is going to tell you right now, um, guys are just swiping right like for hours back in the day when you had unlimited matches which is not like that anymore um guys would just swipe right for hours that would be me too i'd be playing like minecraft or something and then i'd just be sitting there going like this for hours for hours and by the way finger skills on point nowadays you know what i'm saying but anyway uh yeah that's what you would do that's 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 what the technique is and nowadays you have you have to have like premium plus gold edition in order to get uh like even half the amount of matches that you would have been able to get for free five six seven eight years ago so yeah they found a way to monetize us all what do you want i don't know dude it's tragic it's terrible it's disgusting but uh, i could definitely see a guy matching with you and going oh i got a match let me see who this nice young lady <gasps> oh my god that she big what is that is that an uh, is that a nose on her elbow what is that why does she have one is that her rib cage or is that her is that a lung i don't even know what that is she black that's going to be obvious for most dudes, bro, because a lot of guys, they'll get matches with girls and they'll go, this is not the girl that I want to be with because they're just swiping right for hours upon end. So yeah, definitely. I could see that being a thing. I just want to hear a story about my really sad dating life. I want to hear a story about how bad you did your makeup, bro. What the hell happened to your makeup here, bro? Look at this. Your forehead is like three shades darker than the rest of your face. What even happened here? It's like you, it's like you dipped yourself in a bleach bath, but forgot to get the top. I used to talk to this guy, he was really attractive, really fit, thought things were going well. But one thing I noticed about him is that he always circled the conversation back to food related things. Like we'd be talking about something completely random and he'd be like, uh-huh, okay, yeah, so like, what did you eat today? Finally, I was like, why do you care? Like you're kind of weirding me out. And he admitted to me that he basically has a kink about like feeding bigger girls. Like Damn. it turns him on to like see girls like gain weight. Somebody's gonna let me know down below how common this is because I'm never in these realms where I'm like hitting up women and they've ever been feeders at all because I'm not really interested in bigger women to begin with. So I don't know exactly how, how common this is, but I've heard a lot of people tell me that they have dated. And I know that women can also be feeders, but usually you don't really see that often. Usually it's men. Men are really into some weird stuff now or maybe it more so is women are a little bit more ambiguous about what they like it takes a little bit of time to get out uh, of a girl what she's actually really interested in maybe a few weeks maybe a month usually dudes are just out with it right 
talking to a guy i've talked to dudes many times and they told me straight out that they're into sucking toes or they want girls to bust ass on their face or whether it's just you know it is what it is i'm not gonna say it's bad but it is weird 100 percent to have a girl just bust an ass on your mouth um but i know that there are a lot of dudes out there specifically looking for fat girls so they can feed them it seems like a very very expensive kink in my opinion unless you're just feeding them like hot pockets and i guess little debbies which is diabolical bro i hope you have another fetish too for the uh the toilet as well dude because you're gonna have to hire a plumber literally every week at that point because that girl is gonna be blown that toilet up um but if you're a feeder don't you invest in like higher quality foods like don't you want your girl to be eating gooder quality foods like cakes or i don't know like actual actual real world food instead of like hot pockets doritos and cottage cheese I don't know, but somebody can let me know. Um, I don't know exactly how this works, um, but dude, I got to point it out. I don't like her makeup at all. I don't know why it's like this. Why does it look like that? Why is it so goddamn weird? It's, it's so dark on the top, but it doesn't match on the bottom. Why is it so brown or like tan up here, but it's so pale down here? But yeah, somebody can let me know down below um, about feeders. I've never been in a relationship with a feeder before, so I don't know. He showed me this website that he was on that was basically like a Tinder, but for matching you with like... A feeder girl? Feedies, bro, right? Is that what that's called? Or I don't know. Maybe it's not feedies. I don't know. I've never been on these websites. I'm not interested in watching big women eat a lot of food and then slowly but surely take off years of their life to appease other men because they're beating off on the other end of the screen. That's, to me, uh, a little bit weird. I'm not going to hate on your desire for doing that, by the way. If you want to do that, there are worse things, obviously, in terms of kinks and stuff like that. If you want to do that, as long as it's two consenting parties, Go ahead. I don't care personally. It is weird though. Uh, I hope you have the facilities for that big man because you're going to need a lot of money. If you, if there's a genuine lady out there and she wants to be fulfilled with the art of stuffing cakes in her mouth consistently, and then I guess doing sexual activities on the side, which in my opinion kind of takes away from the entire, because like, the bigger you get, the harder it becomes to do sexual activities, right? I don't know if you guys have ever even seen sex uh, with two bigger people. It's it's terrible. It's gross. I don't even know if it's really heterosexual porn because it will sit there and go, yep, straight sex. And you're like, this, I don't know. I, I, both of these women have, both of these people have beards, I think. One of them can't shave, probably. Um, I don't even see anything that would indicate whether or not this person is a male or a female because it's, everything's just perpetually dark. The sun never gets to any of these parts. Or light, light itself. Like, Sometimes these people will unleash their Kraken thing and it, they'll lift up the fupas, right? They'll just pull and pull and pull. Eventually you'll see something dark, black. It's just like a black hole. And it just sucks up all this all the light in the area because it's it hasn't it hasn't seen light in so long that it has to sucks up all the light and it's very uncomfortable to watch uh i would not recommend it i just did it for the memes one day because my friend sent me a video of it my friends don't usually send me stuff like that but you know every once in a while you get a picture or whatever like that um sometimes i'll pull a joke on my friends where i'll go hey man what do you think about this one girl right here you think she's really attractive and i'll send him a picture of a girl and he'll go oh man yeah Oh, yeah, she looking real good, dog. She looking real good. And then I'll send a follow-up picture of that girl with a penis. And he'll go, oh, man, you you got me, bro. What are you doing, man? I didn't, no, no, no. What I said before don't matter, bro. You, I didn't know she had a penis. It's fun. It's really fun. So sometimes you'll just do that or you'll send for the memes. You guys don't know that? Am I just weird for doing that? Is that just something that I don't do? Maybe I'm just weird. I don't know. But somebody can let me know down below what it's like to be in a position where guys are going, I'm trying to really take you to Mickey D's and you're going, um, okay, a Mickey D's. And he just goes in and buys like $50 worth of food, nothing for him and just all for you. Do you feel a little bit concerned about that? Or is it more so like princess treatment? Somebody let me know down below. Girl, I was shocked when I saw this shit. Like the members on there, the guys were like super buff. Like, Are you really shocked by that? I feel like I wouldn't be shocked by that. I've seen way too many... Listen, I knew a girl that literally wanted me to eat her. And I don't mean orally. I mean, obviously orally, but you know what I'm talking about with my tongue and stuff like that. But like with a fork and knife. Um, So I'm not surprised. Uh, that's probably apex of the weirdness. Or that one time that girl wanted me to put my, my foot in her vagina. And she said she wanted me to wear her like a new balance. Which, by the way, if you're identifying your vagina as a new balance, is there no other shoe that you can use? Really? Not Nikes, not Adidas, not even Jordans, nothing? Just new balance. Okay. Super fit dudes. Basically, the girls were down to basically have, like, guys shove food down their throat. Like, I don't even know. So, yeah, then this guy tried to convince me to let him feed me and shove food in my mouth. And what did you say, though? Is this, like, a delegation thing? Like, do you talk about it or do you just go, nah, I'm not really down for that? 
<laughs> Why is my life like this? <laughs> I, I'm gonna need to know what you said though. You didn't say anything back. Like, wh what was the follow up to that? You're just gonna leave it there. You're just gonna leave it ambiguous. You're not gonna tell us exactly what happened after that. Did you talk to him about it at the bare minimum? I don't know, dude. It kind of seems like you got, maybe you had a conversation about it. And he's like, yeah, I'm trying to like literally feed you crazy amounts of food. And it seemed like you were going, tell me a little bit more about that a little bit. Come on. Tell me a little bit about what you talk about. I think I might need to know about that real quick. I might want to milk that guy if I'm being not like that. Hold up now. Hold up. I understand how that sounds. But think about this. Food is relatively uh, inexpensive, but if I don't have to buy it, I would be pretty good on that. I would just tell that dude like, yeah, 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 I'm into it, I'm into it. I'm real deal into you feeding me a whole bunch of foods. Let's go to the grocery store right now, matter of fact, and you just buy, I got a whole list on my phone and my notes right now, all the things that I need, and you could just buy me the stuff that I off, I'll just eat it all, obviously. Um, you go with me, and you, 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 you use your card, and um, you buy me all this food, and yeah, yeah, I'll eat it, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll eat it. Um, just come with me real quick, and we can get that. And you, you can also bring it up the stairs, right? Because you're a big, you're a big strapping young buck. So you can bring it up the stairs. You can put it in my fridge. Um, but oh, it's late. It's oh man, it's really late right now, and I gotta wake up early tomorrow for work. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Yeah, you'll come over, and I'll fulfill all your desires of me eating that little Debbie's that you bought me and all this other stuff. Um, what you just say? Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, I'll definitely call you back, 100%. That will definitely be something. You gotta leave though, because I gotta, I gotta go to sleep. So anyway, yeah, thanks for all the food money. Um, thank you for also bringing it up the stairs and things like that. Hashtag princess treatment. Hashtag I'm a queen. That's what I would be doing, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> I would just go on that app just to find dudes that are gonna fill up my refrigerator so I don't have to spend money on groceries. Here is what my dating profile looks like as a confident plus size baddie. Okay, okay let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the art of judging. I'm in the art of judging profiles, so let's do it, okay? Uh, get along with people who are comfortable just being themselves. Self-love is okay. the best love, which is, in my opinion, it sounds like masturbation, but it's totally fine. 24 years old, did not think this one was 24 years old. Five foot four, not bad for a girly. Um, go ahead. Know that I want you just the way you are. I want you comfortable as yourself. Self-love is the best love. I feel like sometimes when people say, I want you exactly the way you are, and the guy shows up, and he's like, yeah, um, so can you tell me about, like, what your farts smell like? Like, that's probably not what you want to hear, right? That's not exactly what the, that's not exactly the love that you want, right? I need you to know the brand right away, okay? This photo right I'm concerned, dude. Um, where was this hanging out at? Like, was this actually hanging from the ceiling? That's surprising. Uh, damn, whoever built that, I'm more concerned about the structural integrity of this, this apartment, of this house, or wherever this is, because how much do you weigh? To what? 250, 270, 280, maybe even 300. I don't know. Uh, whoever built that that apartment, dude, I'm gonna need to talk to that guy, bro. Right here, a special talent of mine, being hot as fuck. Well, let me just, we can talk about a little bit. Um, I don't think you understand what hot as fuck means. Do you know what that is exactly? Uh, I wouldn't say that you're bad looking, but hot as fuck is very particular. That's kind of weird. I would never say I'm hot as fuck. Uh, but, uh, but then again, I'm not trying to. Uh, you, on the other hand, I don't know about that one. Also, using the cow print, mm, not the best. I'm gonna keep it a bunk. Literally gorgeous. Well, Dating me will look. How about you? How about you let me decide if you're gorgeous or not? I think it's a little bit too easy for people to tell me how gorgeous they are. You know what I'm talking about? I, I hear way too many people bragging about how amazing they are and how fantastic they. Are. How about I let you know instead of you trying to project it upon me? How about that? like having the baddest bitch walking listen you're going too far right now okay i didn't i didn't want to say anything at first i thought maybe it was a little bit of a joke it seems like you're serious about that you're musty okay you're not as good as you think you are um you're busted it's okay though you're average a little bit below average because you're fat and that's okay it's fine it's literally fine to be below average if you're a blig is gonna be a necessity. I mean, obviously, if you're a blagger, uh, you blew out your proportions. I don't know what you look like anymore. Um, your thighs is, you know, you, you, all these proportions that you got look like somebody's behind you with like a pump, an air pump. It's just <laughs> consistently. I don't know about baddest bitch. That's kind of crazy as hell, bro. Have you ever seen a bad bitch? Hashtag bad girls. Not you, but that's okay hot as fuck literally gorgeous Did your head looks way too small for the rest of your body and i think that's because you have a small head organically and then also because your body is big me will look like having the baddest bitch walking next to you in the street 
I will always ask you to take photos, videos of me to show off my outfits. I don't want to be with you. You're too self-obsessed. You have too many narcissistic traits. I don't like that. I will always ask you to take photos and videos of my outfit. It's just a prerequisite. If that's not something you're into, go ahead and swipe left. Damn, dude, that's a weird prerequisite, dude. You have to take pictures of me. Hashtag princess treatment. No, I don't like that. I don't like it. Why does it sound like I don't even know you yet? Now I have to do stuff for you. I don't like it. No, I love words of affirmation. Shower me in compliments. Yeah, I don't like this girl at all, bro. That's kind of like terrible. Can't you just be like a normal person? I don't think every girl acts like this, right? I don't like that at all. And this one is a great conversation stuff. Oh, the, the cat picture was good. I'm not the girl. Oh, was that Nicki, Nicki Minaj? Who was that? Me in compliments. And this one. Who is this? <laughs> Janet Jackson? Who the fuck is this? I know it's Kim K. Look, I know it's Kim K. I get it, dude. Um, damn, Kim K is actually really a lot shorter. What'd you take this picture like fucking five years ago, bro? Jesus Christ. That is a great conversation. Yeah, set. not a good profile. Um, too self-obsessed, way too narcissistic. Everything on your profile picture is about you. And I don't like that. I think if you're making a profile picture, make it very ambiguous. Don't give out too much information because what are we going to talk about when we go out on the date? That's not good, okay? Make it ambiguous, make it flavorful, and leave it there. So that way when I hit you up, because most dudes are not reading the about me. Most dudes are not scrolling down to look at all the pictures. Most dudes are looking at that first picture and going, yeah, she look all right, I guess. And then they're hitting you up based off that. And then maybe like a month later, they'll, they'll scroll through the picture like, oh, wow, Kim K, that's pretty cool. That's it. That's it. Um, I don't need to know everything about you. I don't need to know even like the basics. I just need to know that you're not going to kill me. You're not weird. You're not going to like microwave my hamster or key my car. So I am good with all of that. And let's talk about it on the date. That's what I think personally. I'm not the girl that guys find attractive. Me too. Me too. I've never had. Well, I've had a few gay men. Actually, I've had a lot of gay men hit me up. Re not recently, but. I've had it's it's actually I think I've probably had more homosexual men that have hit me up than actual straight women and that is sometimes you think about it you know what I'm saying sometimes you think about like what does that mean what is that what is that trying to what is God trying to tell me what is what is the universe trying to tell me is this is this like the way that I'm supposed to be or is this not the way maybe I'm just weird I don't know I've never had a boyfriend I've never had a guy ask me on a date I've shown interest in men for them to just you know, blow me off or be mean about it. I... If somebody... Damn, dating in your 30s is crazy, okay? If you made it to your 30s and never had a date, I think it has less to do with... I think it has less to do with other people and more to do with you. You're just not putting yourself in the right scenarios. Even if you were fat or even ugly, bro. I've seen really, really ugly people get some of the best relationships ever. I think that maybe the standards need to be lowered. Maybe you're doing something incorrect. Maybe you're just pursuing the wrong people. I think it has more to do with the individual rather than everybody else. So I hope this person knows that because I see this so many times where people go, everybody else they doing this. It's men don't want me, this and that. I don't think so. I think it's probably something to do with you. Have never felt beautiful or like... Maybe this is a girl thing, but I don't really ever feel beautiful either. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'll look in the mirror and I'll go, oh, okay. I look pretty, I look, I look average today. I look all right. And also the, the people around me, if I ask them like, hey man, what do you, how do you, how, do I look okay today? They'll go, you don't look as bad as you, you do usually. So that's all I, like usually you get those types of responses. Maybe it's just a girl thing. Um, maybe girls are just more used to getting compliments than dudes. Most dudes get like two compliments a year. And one of them's from their mom and the other one's a backhanded compliment from their friends. Like the one I just told you about. So maybe it's just a girl thing, like not feeling beautiful because I don't think I have ever felt beautiful in my entire life, but that's okay because I'm not really putting that as a bar. I don't really care about it. Wanted but by the way, thank you for saying I'm beautiful by someone and I think it really does Make you feel a certain way about yourself Now that I'm on this like weight loss journey and I've lost 74 pounds good job By the way 74 pounds down is actually in a momentous occasion. That's beautiful and amazing fantastic. That's great I'm starting to open myself up to hoping for more hoping that maybe things will change but also really afraid that what if it wasn't my size all along? What if I'm just not worthy? It's probably other things about you that are making you unattractive. I see oftentimes big girls say, 
it's because I'm fat is a reason why guys don't want to date me or whatever. And I'm not doubting that being overweight is going to negatively affect your dating opportunities. Obviously, you're literally funneling dudes down. Like you're in a very niche category when you're a plus size individual or blagger. So yeah, 100% that's going to negatively affect you. But it's probably underlying issues. It's probably the way you think. It's probably the way you approach situations. It might be like your takes. It might be your opinions. Things like that are really, really discouraging sometimes, depending on the person that you're with. And oftentimes, I think that's the real reason, right? Is that somebody is not very confident. Somebody is like projecting insecurity or whatever it may be. I see a lot of that rather than the fatness. Um, I think that fatness is obviously not good, but it's usually the other things. Of pursuit what if i'm just not the person who gets to have a family and that's okay uh, i don't think you should be crying on the internet dude oh i don't like this i get that she's having a moment right now and this is like her vulnerable side of herself but you know what she like it's lucky that i'm a good person and i'm not gonna take advantage of that but i think that somebody like this should not be posting about this on the internet i would hope that you had a friend family member therapist even somebody in your life that's going to be there to hear you out somebody who's going to listen to you somebody that you can confide into the internet i just never understood why people have these emotional vulnerable points in their life online dude it's not the right place for that i think i'm pretty i'm a good person i'm you know i'm not gonna like okay i'm a good person in this front like i'm not gonna say anything bad about this like whatever right but it, 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 there are other people that will. There are other people that are going to be like, ha, you crying? Ugly. Like, there are going to be people who say that shit or just call you dumb or whatever. And that's terrible. You shouldn't put yourself in a position to where you are vulnerable in a place of hostility. That's not good, okay? Go to your friends. Go to your family. Talk to them about it. That would be the optimal way to go. And by the way, um, yeah, I'm sure you could live a long, fulfilling life without children, which is fine. More and more people nowadays are not having kids. A lot of people nowadays think kids are gross and disgusting. And that's really sad because I agree. Kids are gross and disgusting. They always talk about things that have absolutely no relevance to things at all. I don't think if you're in conversations with kids, it just randomly brings stuff up. Like you could just be talking about how you're wearing a gray shirt with somebody and go like, oh, wow, look at that. We're like matching shirts. And like a little like five or six year old will come up to you. Uh, but did you know that four days ago, four days ago when I was with my dad and we were going to get ice cream, uh, I had a gray shirt too. So that means that we're matching, right? And you're just looking at this kid like, bro, get away from me, dude. Like you, you, you just sneezed on your hand. I don't even like you. You're so weird. You're so disgusting. You probably have like 18 diseases. I don't even, this was an AB conversation. Why are you even here? Where'd you even come from? I don't even know who you are. That's how kids are, though. That's, they're beautiful in a way. That's like the beauty of a little five-year-old is like they'll just tell you shit that has no relevance at all, but they feel like they should be included in everything because that's just the way it is. Um, but more and more people nowadays are less likely to have kids because it's a lot of responsibility and a lot of people don't want to deal with that. And also because we have a lot of social networks nowadays that a long time ago, you needed children to take care of you when you hit your elder elder years, which in a lot of cases would have been like 44 because people weren't people were dying at like 34. So if you made it to like past 40, you were literally a grandfather um, socially. Uh, but nowadays, people are living up until their 80s, and we have uh, you know Social Security and other things like that. We'll take care of you retirement. Nowadays, it's it's a lot more forgiving than it was back in the day, where you needed to have somebody that was gonna you know hopefully be there for you when you hit your elder years and you can have that person to rely on, take care of the farm, the family, the horses, the cattle, the call. I don't fucking know, dude. What were people like protecting back in the day? I'm not sure, dude. Whatever. Um, it's fine. I know a lot of people don't like kids, but if she wants to have kids, I can definitely tell she does. It sucks. The person who gets to have a family and that's okay. There's so many people who live wonderful and full lives. I also think that sometimes people do this thing where they talk about how other people have, oh, it's okay. Like there are people in worse positions than me. No, it's actually okay for you to feel like your situation is unique. Obviously, it's not unique in the spectrum of humanity, but always look at things within the context at which they're taking place. Like obviously you're doing better than literally almost everybody on the planet. There are plenty of people on the planet that literally are living in like huts or something like that, like have no running water and things like that. But that doesn't mean that you're not having a bad time. That doesn't mean that you're not going through something. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't feel like you're going through something. It's okay. It's literally fine. Like, I understand. I can empathize with this woman. It sucks. I understand. Um, it's fine. Have your have your emotions. But like I said, not on the internet. The internet's not the right place for this. Friends, family, even by yourself, much better. Without being married and, children, and having children 
And I know that I'll be okay if I don't have that. I just always dreamed of it. And people, people want to like tell you that it's not your size. It's just the type of guys you're going for. Well, no, I really do think that it was my size. And that's why I've been alone. I mean, she's probably right. The weight is most definitely going to negatively affect you. I don't know how much, how big she was, but given from the fact that she said that she lost 75 pounds and she still looks a little bit bigger, she probably was a pretty big size. That's going to like the bigger you become, the harder it's going to be to do almost anything in life, especially dating. So she probably had a major, major, major issue with the weight. And it seems like she's trying to get it down pack. Um, yeah, 100% is going to negatively affect you. It's tough that she's having this mental breakdown on the internet, on TikTok specifically. Not good, dude. Uh, would not recommend doing that. I do empathize with her, but again, not the right place for it. I hope she gets better. Uh, hopefully that weight loss progresses and she finds her dream manses or whatever it is she's looking for. Welcome back to Plus Size Dating with Rachel. I just found out a man's height by googling his football number because in his dating profile it had a picture of him playing football for a college and like it didn't say his height and i was like okay before i get invested i need to know how tall you are because i need to know how high heels to wear because i know my angles are a that's a little bit concerning um to to be googling this stuff i don't know if this is a very common thing I've never been that invested in somebody at the very beginning, at least to Google, like the deep details of this person is hype. Really, man, it's really tough, right? Cause here on this channel, we sometimes watch pop the balloon, right? And I knew that there were a lot of ladies out there that definitely wanted guys that were over six foot, which is fine. By the way, if you want to date men that are over six feet, that's totally your opinion, all this other stuff. But since I've been watching pop the balloon show and these dating shows, man, so many of these dudes will literally right off the bat get dismissed for being under six foot. It's actually insane. Like some of these guys look very good, but immediately the women will go up to them and go, I can't date you because you're way too short. And I'm always like, oh my God, like I get it. You want to date a tall guy, but this guy could be great. Like he could be amazing. He could be fantastic. Like all the rest of the roster were looking like pure frog legs, but this guy didn't look that bad. He was just a little shorter. And that's really, really tragic, right? I see a lot of ladies dismissing dudes based off of height. I've even known some women that dismiss dudes based off of penis size, which is incredible. It's not like you're going to be sitting there like Bob the Builder pulling out the, the measuring tape. Like, I don't know. It's kind of a little bit small for me. Not many women even know what inches are when it comes to the meat. A lot of guys lie about their meat inches, except for me. Um, never lied about that. I've always been massively big, meated, BBC massacre, you know, ginormity. But... It's really sad. It's really, really sad. Up here, not down here. Uh, and I found out he's six one. I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm cool. tell way to know if a man is messing with you because he really messes with you, or if he just wants your body. He gonna treat you like a roach girl. <gasps> Plus five, grow queen content creator. I, I actually disagree with that. I think a lot of guys will play the field until they get what they want. It's very hard to discern whether or not a guy is genuine or not genuine. It might be easy sometimes. Like if a guy is just straight up hitting you like, hey, what does your vagina smell like? Hey, can you fart in my mouth? Like if that's what's happening, then naturally, you know, this guy's in it for the sex. Now, if you just want to be somebody that just has sex, that's fine. You can totally just go for that. That's if that's what you want to do. But I feel like most people are probably not down for that. A lot of people are probably just in, in it for the monogamy. And that's fine. But uh, definitely, it's very hard to discern whether or not this guy is there for sexual activity or if he's there for more genuine intent. And it's up to you as the individual within question, the pursuee, to discern that thing. Now, it might be, be it might that might be you waiting a few weeks or seeing how how he, he, he discerns over the... Usually, if you wait a few weeks, like one, two, three, four weeks, by the end of that fourth week, most dudes that are just there for you in terms of sex are probably going to be gone because they think it's not worth it. Why would I wait around for a girl that's going to, you know, make me wait two, three, four weeks when I can have sex with a girl right now? Um, so if they're there after that four weeks, it's probably a good bet that that guy's there. Not all the time. I hope that you are there to discern. I hope that you are also experienced enough to be the person that makes those makes those good decisions as well. 
can receive a lot of unsolicited attention from men that I did not necessarily ask for. It's crazy because one of the ways I was able to overcome my body dysmorphia was to just start showing it more and being comfortable with existing in this big body, in this space, and just being unapologetic about it. I grew up in a very fat phobic family and to this day we still talk about weight and it does have an impact on me but not as much as it used to back in the day. With that I started posting more of me online. Because I'm curvy that brought attention where I- I think we gotta stop using the word curvy. What do you mean by you're curvy? Uh, you, you know you could be thinner and curvy, right? Like there are plenty of women that are, you know, 130, 140 that have a tremendous amounts of curves. It's like all about the body structure more than about the weight, if that makes any sense. Um, some people just are naturally more uh, inclined to have the curves or whatever you want to call them, dude. The physique for that particular thing. Um, a lot of men are shaped like rectangles, right? Um, and a lot of women don't have that. A lot of women are shaped like hourglasses and some women have a little bit more hourglass than others. So you don't have to necessarily be above 200 or 300 to even be curvy. And I would actually go as far as to say that the more weight you stack on, eventually that the curviness is just going to turn into, I don't know, bags of potatoes on your body, like just lumps in my opinion. I did not think it was going to bring attention from men. I really thought women who felt the same way about their bodies and were like trying to brace themselves that would be like my target audience. Why would you think that if you show your body off more on the internet that somehow women would be the ones that pursue you and not men? Do you understand how the internet works? There is entire like economies on the internet that are literally being farmed for men. Like there, okay, whatever. But it attracted the male species. Yeah, no shit, no fucking shit. Why would you think otherwise? A girl showing more of her body compared to not showing more of her body, and you think that that would have gotten, you thought that would have gotten less male attention? Okay, you clearly have no idea how that works. You're a dating coach. Okay. I don't think people will admit it, but there is like this weird sort of validation that you get when you grew up not really receiving the attention that you felt like you wanted or deserved from attractive men. When attractive men are hopping in your DMs or wanting to take you out, it's flattering. But th sometimes the attractive men are not attractive deep down. And the same thing could be said with women. Just because you're a hottie on the outside doesn't mean you're a hottie on the inside. And don't get me wrong, there are plenty of hot women. There are plenty of hot guys that have great personalities, that are great people, that are amazing people. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to apply equally. And the same thing could be said, obviously, for uglier dudes. But usually people that are um, a little bit more disheveled, people that are a little bit more busted, um, have to develop things because they don't have a choice, right? A lot of dudes that I know that are slightly busty or busted, uh, a little bit musty in the face, are funny. Funnier guys, they're clever. They have the ability to keep up in conversation because they have to. They don't have the character traits visually in order to compete with other people. So therefore, they have to work on the things that they know they can work on, which is fine, by the way. If you have things that you can work on, it's good to mid-max those things. And that's one of the great things about being a dude is that um, you can't. You can mid-max like a lot of things, whereas women, it's not so much. You can't really do it. I'm not saying that women can't do it, but it's Men are pre predominantly looking for women that are like visually attractive. So that's why when you see women that are mid-maxing, they usually go for visual stuff. Um, whereas men, when you see men that are mid-maxing or men that are trying to max out their stat lines, they're going for other things besides visual stuff. They're going for like comedy. They're going for money. They're going for charisma. They're going for conversational statuses. They're going for all this stuff. Instead of women are just going for looks. And women can do a lot of that stuff that men are doing as well. But it's always, that's why I always say like if you're a dude and you want to become more attractive, there's a lot of things that you can do to make yourself way more attractive to women. Whereas for women, it's pretty limited. It, the other stuff does play a role though, 100%. If you're a woman and you think that I'm just saying like don't work on yourself internally, no, 100% work on yourself internally. But um, most men are not looking for that up front. Most men are looking for girls that look attractive visually. Then once you start talking to these attractive men, you start to really see who they are and they are fetishizing you and your body. You are not coming out of the house at night. He is creeping to meet you or you're creeping to link up with him. He ain't checking on you. He's only hitting you when he wants something physically. And I'm saying this because I have been reflecting on some of my past experiences with men. I am ashamed of myself. I wonder how many times that's, that, 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 that's happened where men hit you up and you go on these dates and they're like yeah yeah so tell me about tell me about what what you ate today what you what you eat today yeah yeah, yeah. slow slow down slow down slow down. yeah tell me real tell, tell me slower tell me slower i need to know real quick hold up let me pull my vaseline out before you start talking like i want to know how long how many times that's happened to you before you realize like oh God, this is an issue right 
my past experiences with men, I am ashamed of myself. The stuff that I allowed and the stuff that I accepted from them disgusts me now. I'm loved. I'm loved by men, women, family, friends, everything. So why would I accept such a low standard of care? If you're not loving me unapologetically and loud and showing off this big body that you want to be all up in every day, I don't want you. I Damn. really don't. And I noticed some of the dudes that wanted me, their women are nothing like me. Which lets me know I'm either a phase or a fetish. And or they're just down bad. A lot of guys that haven't had sex in a really long time, they'll just go for whatever they can get. And I know that sounds really ass to say, but I'm telling you the truth. Like, I know a bunch of dudes personally that are incels and they can't have sex or they just haven't had sex. Or maybe it might be voluntary. Like, they just don't have the option to have sex right now so they're just pursuing other things and contrary to popular belief i know a lot of people think that sex is like the be-all end-all it's really not um it's probably more important to get the other things down pack um actual communication is way more important than having sexual contact in my opinion i can't really be with somebody that ha that lacks communication skills somebody that doesn't have that that's not capable of having a conversation i know there are plenty of people out there that are totally fine with dating somebody that is I don't know, like very, very young or somebody that doesn't have a lot of conversational skills or maybe that can't actually comprehend any of the things that you're doing because you're in a different phase of your life compared to that person. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. Like I see a lot of guys nowadays that are like, oh, I want to date a 19 year old barista because guess what? I don't give a fuck what a bitch got to say. I just want to date a woman that I don't want. I want to date a woman that don't know how to read. Right. I've, I've, I've had these conversations before with guys. That's fine. If that's what you want to do, it's totally fine. Um, I would just stress to you, like, what are you guys having conversations about? Like, do you just come home late at night and just like sit down? on the couch like a brick and she's like not doing anything either maybe like scrolling through tiktok for eight hours is that the life you want to live fine if that's what you want to do no problem at all but i think most people probably don't and i feel like once you get into a relationship like that you realize you don't want it and that's really tragic because you might be wasting somebody's time um but i would struggle to i i've never been in a situation like this like i don't think i've ever been fetishized for my body personally because like what do i have that's fetishizable maybe the mustache i mean nothing like me which lets me know i'm either a phase or a fetish and i ain't got time for that you ain't about to be doing no weird stuff with me i've just been reflecting on my past experiences i've been reading some of my old journals from back then and i am just appalled with what do I a lot of women have journals i feel like i've never met a dude with a journal before i'm, I'm most dudes that i don't most most dudes that i know don't even know how to read so let me know down below about that journal thing. I've heard a lot of women say they have journals. I've never heard a guy have a journal once he was gay. Past experiences, I've been reading some of my old journals from back then and I am just appalled with what I accepted. If you're in that phase right now or have gone through it, I'm here with you. We could talk about it via DM. What are your thoughts on this? Am I the only one? I doubt. I don't think that she's the only one. I would, str I would love to know though um, like how many dudes, how long did it take for you to get to this point? Why do you think you're curvy? Come on now, let's be honest here right now. You know, curvy is kind of a crazy term. But I would love to know all those things, but I don't think she's ever going to talk about that because those things are a little bit more meaningful. And I hope she finds love. I hope that she finds somebody that's going to accept her for the way she is and also somebody that's going to willing, somebody that's going to be willing to change her for the better or at least hopefully that she's open for the change as well because change is obviously really, really important. It's not a good thing to be a dip. It's not a good thing to be the same person that you were when you were 20 compared to where you were 30. Obviously, you want change. Obviously, you want to be better. You want to be more equipped. You want to have the ability to discern what is right and what is not right. Um, and when you're 20 years old, you really don't have that skill. And it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of experience to actually adapt those things into your um, new friends framework right but anyway guys we're gonna end the video here um if you enjoyed today's video i'd appreciate if everybody leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in a lemon 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 i don't like lemons personally i like the way they look i like the way they smell but i don't like the way they taste personally i don't like them but i appreciate them nonetheless i think there is a time and a place for a lemon and if you like lemons let me know down below lemons are cool if there's a lemon emoji you can put that down there too i like lemons to look at i only like to look at lemons but uh and i like looking at you eat lemons that's beautiful wow the way you consume that lemon was wonderful beautiful even it's extravagant actually the way your mouth is perfectly able to indulge in that that very very bitter lemon so thank you for consuming that i appreciate you tremendously um by the way the other night I was thinking about you and I couldn't believe how much of an amazing person you are. In my mind, I was thinking about your elbows. I was thinking about your rib cage. I was thinking about your, the back, the calf. I was thinking about the calf and how defined it was. And it was very beautiful. I thought the calf muscle was actually very, very, very well defined. 
I thought that the way you were doing those lunges were pretty good too. Um, the way you work out in general is very intuitive. I like that. It's very beautiful, very aerobic. You do a lot of movements and that's great. Even the way you walk is actually pretty angelic and I like that as well. Very handsome individual, very beautiful individual. Whatever word you want to use is synonymous with those terms. Good. Is good. You are is good. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. If you want to check out my socials, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.